welcome everyone to a brand new Dragon Ball video. This time we're gonna be talking about the many jobs that the various Z fighters from Dragon Ball have had through the years. Goku, Vegeta, Krillin, Gohan, Piccolo and the rest are known by us as the heroes who saved the universe time and time again, risking their lives for the well-being of everyone, and have rarely if ever gotten recognition. Sadly, being the one who defeated Frieza has never been very profitable. This is why our Dragon Team has had to find various jobs through the world in order to feed their families. In this video, I will be going over the professions that our Dragon Ball's heroes have done, even if they were never shown. Let's start with Son Goku. Starting off with the main character, Goku was never known for keeping a steady job. With the way the world is today, you really need more than just some classes with Master Roshi in order to get a job. I guess they really are lucky that Ox King was rich and that Gohan married a rich woman. Anyhow, Goku's main job is being a farmer. This was first shown to us in Yo Son Goku and his friend's return. Though he does this mostly because Chi Chi forces him to, Goku works the fields and sells crops in town, a respectable job. Plus, his seem to be fairly popular in town. Aside from being a farmer, he also takes some part-time jobs here and there, when Mr. Satan finds them for him. In Dragon Ball Super Episode 69, he was hired to be a security guard for the science fair that Boma is attending. Through the moral arc, he, along with most of the other Z Fighters, is also an honorary Galactic Patrol member, Yamcha. Yamcha is a strange case for Dragon Ball. He's perhaps one of the most successful Z Fighters besides Gohan. The man took advantage of his powers and joined a baseball league. We first saw this in some Dragon Ball Z filler, where Yamcha played for the team known as the Titans, spelled incorrectly. He continues his career later on, even showing off during Dragon Ball Super. That's his most well-known job, but he's had a few others. After the end of the conflict against Majin Buu, Yamcha decided to try and find a girlfriend by becoming a host at a host club. Host clubs are restaurants in Japan. Their main gimmick is that you're surrounded by good-looking people that not only take your orders but make conversation and the such. However, it looks like Yamcha never really got over his fear of women and still becomes very nervous around them. He was ultimately fired because of this. Since that didn't work out, Yamcha works mainly as a bodyguard along with Puar. It was revealed during an interview between Toriyama and Kobayashi around the time Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods came out. Ten Shinhan and Chiaotsu. Ten Shinhan has an much better than others. He always seemed like one of the smarter Z fighters. In the same interview, Toriyama revealed that Ten Shinhan was a farmer after the events of the Buark. Him and Chiaotsu used their various skills to take care of the crops. Chiaotsu with his psychic abilities and Ten Shinhan with his multi-form technique. Yamcha even comes by to help out. If you remember, in some Dragon Ball Z filler, Launch fell in love and pursued Ten Shinhan. She kept this going up until the Buark, where she lived with him for a bit. But she didn't really like the farming life and left. Even so, she visits from time to time. Chiaotsu's skills are renowned by farmers, and he is hired quite a bit. Thanks to this, he has a large savings pool. By the time Dragon Ball Super came out, Ten Shinhan and Chiaotsu apparently had enough money to start their own martial arts academy. Something like this was also mentioned in Dragon Ball Online. Krillin As most of you already probably know, Krillin's main job is being a police officer, as shown in Fukatsu no F up until now, in Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. Additionally, in Dragon Ball Online, it's explained that he started his own martial arts school after Master Roshi passed down the torch to him and Ten Shinhan. Gohan Perhaps the most successful Z fighter of all, Gohan achieved his goal of becoming a great scholar. Aside from that, he also worked as a superhero in the form of the great Saiyan man and even acted in a movie about himself. In Dragon Ball Online, his scholarly endeavors led him to publishing a book about Ki, which sold extremely well and started a boom of martial artists around the world. This actually was what led Ten Shinhan and Krillin to start their schools. He's also published some other research, such as Kaching can be cut. Goten and Trunks the two kids haven't been shown to have many jobs in canon, but in Dragon Ball GT, Trunks becomes the president of Capsule Corp. In Dragon Ball Super, Goten, Trunks, and Marin help out Android 17 in taking care of his island, thus becoming park rangers temporarily. In Dragon Ball Online, in age 805, Goten and Trunks develop a new form of martial arts called Kiko Kenjutsu, which combines swordsmanship with key control. They were actually inspired by the rising popularity of swordsmanship thanks to Gohan's groundbreaking article, which I mentioned previously, Catching Can Be Cut. Android 17 17's job was first revealed to us at the end of Dragon Ball Z, where we see him in a forest, 
he was actually probably doing his job as a park ranger right then and there, as Toriyama elaborated on in an interview and in Dragon Ball Super. He has a family now, though they live on a different island, since the one he operates on, Monster Island, is far too dangerous for his youngest boy. Mr. Satan The savior of the world is insanely rich. He was rich enough to open his own hotel. But anyway, he started his martial arts at a young age, while training at Satan's dojo. He became very successful after winning the World Martial Arts Tournament, and thanks to the defeat of Cell, he became the hero of the world. He started his own dojo where he trained generations of prodigies. He sold his likeness to movies and merchandise, even becoming the yearly winner of the martial arts tournament thanks to Majin Buu's cheating. In Dragon Ball Online, he created the Video School Telecommunicated Satan Style Martial Arts Course. However, they were called out for being ripoffs since they were just videos with special effects. This led him to just starring in movies. Pan after Mr. Satan's sham is called out by the public, Pan takes over and creates her own telecommunicated martial arts school. She even asks Bulma to develop a system to battle people online, which allows for more young people to get into martial arts. Vegeta in comparison to the rest of the Z Fighters, the Prince of All Saiyans never really held a real job, though he was of course a mercenary for Frieza, a prince, stuff like that. Similarly to Goku, he's really lucky that Bulma is rich. But as I mentioned earlier, he along with Goku and most of the Z Fighters was an honorary member of the Galactic Patrol during the battles against Moro. Piccolo used to stay at the lookout for a long time, partially serving as a guardian along with Dende, though as seen in Dragon Ball Super Superhero, he also has his own home away from the lookout. As implied by the trailers, he's currently training Pan, and of course we've seen him train Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. In Dragon Ball GT, after going and staying in Hell, he becomes the guardian of Otherworld, making sure that their unruly souls are kept in check. And of course, if you go into the expanded material, Vegeta, Goku, Goten, Trunks, Gohan, Pan, and many of the other fighters are also part of the Time Patrol through Dragon Ball Heroes, Xenoverse, and things like that. There are of course other Dragon Ball characters that have jobs here and there that I don't think warranted their own section. So let's do a little bit of a speed round, shall we? Perhaps the most important one is Bulma, who's not only rich, but she's also a genius, along with her father. Videl is currently a stay-at-home mom, but along Inside Gohan, she was a superhero for a time and independently defended Satan City. Chi-Chi is technically a princess, until she became a housewife as well. Jacko, as his name suggests, is a galactic patrolman. Yajirobe stays at Korin Tower. He eventually comes down from the tower to plant the Sensu Bean seeds in Dragon Ball Online. And if we want to get very technical, a whole bunch of characters have been masters. Goku, Gohan, Goten and Trunks, Piccolo, Vegeta, a lot of people really. And of course, these are not Z fighters, but I think we might as well mention the Pride Troopers being superheroes in their own universe, Khalifa and Kale being gangsters, Frost and Kaba being some sort of philanthropist for a time, Hit being an assassin, and I'm sure there's others here and there that I might have not mentioned. But I think that covers the most important characters. If I missed any, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. But what about the characters we haven't seen jobs for? What do you guys think they would do? Personally, I always see somebody like Nappa being a gardener. Something that's completely against what they would normally do. Just to blow off some steam, you know? And I'm hand cannon in this right now. Goten and Trunks definitely become professional esports players when they're teenagers. And what about you? Is there any job specific to the Dragon World? World you would like to have? Leave it in the comments down below. As always, huge thank you to the Super Saiyan Legend, Super Saiyan God, and Ultra Instinct members of the channel, especially the Ultra Instinct members, King Saiyan, Wayne Antoine, Super Kami Mewtwo, and Neo Whitcomb. Thank you guys for joining me. Anyways, thank you to King Saiyan, Midnight Combatant, Wayne Antoine, Eric Dragon, Super Kami Mewtwo, Neo Whitcomb, Sacred Saiyan, Feel J Akir, Pizza Hut Kitman, Orlando Castellano, Hannah Rowan, Sir Justice, The Real Samuel Randall, and Zachary Croy. This channel wouldn't be around without you guys. And I know you guys are looking forward to it. Part 2 of What If Goku Was Trapped in the Time Chamber is coming out tomorrow, Thursday the 10th. So look forward to it. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss a Dragon Ball video by me. This has been Smugstick, and until we meet again, see ya guys.